Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here in the beautiful country of Vietnam. We're in a unique place today. We're actually exploring one more part of the Vin Group, which is the Vin Homes Ocean Park. So like where we're at is like in between this like man completely man-made city that is surrounded by these lakes. And these lakes are what I find very interesting. So let me just give you a quick run through of what I learned since I went on the tour. I got the facts before and I didn't really film my journey here, but I took a VinFest electric bus to get over here. And then we've basically been exploring all around this area. And so these lakes are unique because they're saltwater lakes, completely man-made in the middle of this like Vin Homes Park. And so, yeah, like the unique part is you're not even able to swim here which I find so odd because what you're gonna notice here is it's surrounded by the beach. And actually this beach is made out of the sand from one of the islands we're going to be heading over to. So like they imported this from so far away, like the beach we're going to be going to, the island, Natran I wanna say it's called, we have to fly to get there. So they brought all of this sand that stretches around there to this spot, which is like, you know, that's a big thing. But like the fact that you can't swim is what I find to be so interesting. And I don't know if it's because maybe in this area people don't like to swim as much. They more like to hang out by the beach. But there's beach chairs, there's places to hang out. And yeah, but um, that is like this whole area. So it's all owned by the Vin Group. And they're just like a mega company. They own like so many different types of businesses. You have your Vin Homes, you have your Vin Hospitals, your Vin Buses, your Vin Fast Cars and like everything is Vin, it's like so interesting. And so, yeah guys, this is where we're starting our day and there are basically like all of these types of condos and apartments and houses that are within this very large complex. And like from what I understood, like you can get places between 75 to 100,000, but obviously like the price ranges are going to totally vary depending on, you know, do you have a lake view, which location in the Vin Homes Ocean Park do you have and like a bunch of these other factors that make up prime real estate, right? And so yeah, it's unique to see this, but um this is the official welcoming to Vin Homes Ocean Park. All right, so here is the fleet of all the buses, like the VinFast bus. We got Chris over there. How are we doing? Hey, what up? Yeah, it's Here's the bait. It's right here. Put the V's up. <laughs> 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 so here's going to be our bus that we're taking. And it's crazy, like, you imagine, like, city buses to be, like, obviously super loud. But when you have electric buses here, they are so quiet. What's that about Thank you. So like, just look at this thing. Like this bus is on right now, but you can barely hear it. And it's got a sleek look to it. The big V right there, so put those Vs up, my friends. And yeah, it looks, you know, somewhat similar, but hello, how are you? It looks, you know, similar to a city bus, but a more sleek and modern version of it. And it's just so quiet, which is very unique. Yeah, guys, there's even Wi-Fi on this bus. So I just sat down and I realized We've got the Wi-Fi signal, so let's check it out and see how fast it is. We've got the Go Green VinFast bus. Let's make sure we connect to the right one. It looks like the Wi-Fi code's sitting right up there. 848, that one's us. And I'm so curious, like if this is gonna be like fast Wi-Fi. So we're running the speed test here. Oh. That's decent, you know? Three, four megabits a second for download. And it looks like about four megabits upload, so that's decent. Good for a bus, huh? Yeah, that's that's uh that's better than I found in India yeah. at most places, like even at hotels. So. We don't have Wi-Fi for our buses in Canada. So I don't think so. Sounds like Canada is gonna need to import some uh, Vin buses. Yeah, yeah, we need, like, yeah. We need the Vin <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> it's like in this Vin Utopia here. Yeah, exactly. Vin Topia. Vin Lake. Yeah, Vin yeah. Waters. <laughs> yeah, Vin everything. Yeah, you guys can see another view of the park here. So I didn't show you when we drove in, but like. It's mind-blowing because when you go around this whole place, 
a lot of the structures look so so similar so I feel like it takes a little while to get adjusted to this place you probably gotta in order to have like good directional sense around here you gotta recognize some of the larger landmarks but, yeah I did tell him that yeah swim in the lake but what it's really weird when you're going around this kind of Vin neighborhood there's like Vin cars Vin coffee shops Vin waters Vin Wi-Fi Vin everything yeah literally. I've never been anywhere that does that huh? Yeah, kind of, have you guys ever been to the, uh, uh, you probably haven't. You saw the Walmart uh, town? I didn't think so. I've heard of it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been there. But it's like this. Huh? Yeah, basically there's like this, uh, it's where Walmart's headquarters is. Yeah, yeah. And like everything is Walmart. And so you go there and you almost feel like you're in like a simulation. Because it's like Walmart cafes, Walmart shops, Walmart this, this, and this. And it's just like mind blowing. You have a video on it. Yeah. I have footage of it, but I never posted it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like this is, I wouldn't compare it directly to Walmart over there because that feels more like, I would say, like a simulation. Whereas here, it really feels like a, a beautiful modern place that I could see myself it's living crazy yeah, if I it's lived in Vietnam. In Hanoi, because it feels like another city. Like there's Hanoi yeah. City, and then there's, to me it's like Vin City. It is, exactly. it's like a whole suburb. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's huge, like, what do they say, like 60 hectare acres or something? Yeah, it was like a mega mall. Yeah, mega mall too. Every, you never have to leave here. And that yeah, guy's yeah. coming through is like, is there a Vin phone? And when you said that, I literally saw a, a store that was like Vin phone. Vin phone, yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, like they, they were showing us like all of the different parts of the Vin Group and I couldn't even tell you how many different companies there were but like every sector you can think of as Trevor just said like phones I saw like hospitals ambulances like anything but it makes sense you know like the bigger the company the more it makes sense to bring on like different arms and legs to it so yeah guys uh, Trevor and Anna from Delightful Travelers we will put the information in the description below so you guys can check them out it's been a lot of fun hanging out with everybody yeah yeah so much fun uh, we got so much more on the way right yeah absolutely nice. yeah we're just getting started here, so. And we're flying later today. Oh yeah. Did you guys know that? They didn't know that. So <laughs> surprise, yeah, charter plane. Charter plane. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is it a VIN plane? Is it a VIN plane? Oh my god, oh, don't even that, tell me. That's gonna be a big news then. Yeah. If it's a VIN plane, I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. An electric plane. <laughs> electric plane. <laughs> yeah. That's next. Literally. All right, so you guys can see a little cruise through the uh, VIN neighborhood right over here. Wow. And how many people, like what percentage of these places are already occupied versus vacant? Mm, I think at the moment it's 50-50. 50-50, okay. This, this place is pretty brand new. It's only yeah, yeah. one year, two year one, one or two years open. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's insane, guys. I mean, you can feel it. When you're cruising through here, like everything is modern. It feels like it's, it's fresh construction from all different directions, from the buildings to like even the, you have your real trees and then you have your like tree lamps. So I can imagine this place must be beautiful to check out and kind of cruise through, cruise around the lake in the evening time. So now we're actually heading over to the Vin University. So we'll take you for a little walking tour through there, yeah? Yeah. yeah we're gonna go through the Opera House of uh, the Vin uh, University. Oh, an well. Opera House there too? Perfect. That's when you gotta say put up the V's. You know? <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're gonna be pulling up here to the Vin University. It's actually the best university in Northern Vietnam. So. It's gonna be cool to check it out. They want to make it one of the best universities in the world in the upcoming years, like they wanna be in the top 50. So huge plans for it. It's amazing to see how fast, like, I mean, the, this whole area is just over a year old and they're making massive moves. Wow, is that a uh, world statue over there? You guys already know, anything with a uh, world or a globe pulls me in right up there. Wow. Vlog. Yeah, exactly. The bin vlog. Wow. When you drive in, look at this architecture. That is so impressive. You said there's uh, 500 students that already go here? Yes. And what's the capacity that the university can have? Uh, 3,500. 3,500. Yes. And it's year number one or year number two that it's been? Uh, this is number, number one. Number one, all right. Number one, yeah. Wow, all right. That's that's big news. So it's the second semester. Is it semesters or trimesters here? Semester. Semesters, okay, yes. sweet. All right, and we have arrived. Look at this red carpet entrance. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Hello, how are you? Thank you. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, thank you. What a welcoming, guys. That was incredible. Like, just uh, walking in on the red carpet in this 
unbelievably beautifully designed place. We've got marble towering over us, probably like 20 meters into the sky. Hello, hello. And look at this magnificent auditorium. Yeah, this is yeah, world's this best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. 20,000 a year to go here. 20,000 Yeah, yeah. Wow. So guys, $20,000 a year to go to this university. And that's like, uh, it's an option for people to go to this university instead of going abroad, I'm being told. But look at it. Wow. Here's the auditorium stage. And it's quite a big space. It looks like behind those curtains, it actually extends back even a bit further. My name is Mailan, I'm Vice President of Bank Group and the President of Vino University. Thank you for spending time to visit us today. Welcome to Vinuni, welcome to Vietnam. And uh, the first thing I want to say is uh, Vino University is one of our uh, philanthropy activities. Beside the Vino University, we also have this school, Vinbike and the Vin Future Foundation, which has all the philanthropy, not for profit activities. All right, we're going to be doing a little tour around the premises here and what we're looking at over here is they actually have a brand new sports stadium. It looks like from here we've got soccer fields over there and a track and field as well as tennis on that side. It's really such an impressive place. Did I not tell you? Hmm. I said I thought I saw an arena coming in. Yeah, ah, yeah, you got it. Crazy architecture and <laughs> modern arena. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the, the sport is here in Vietnam. You know, it looks like they have uh, soccer stadiums soccer, all set yeah. up over there. And then I want to say basketball over there as well as tennis, Woo! track and field. Crazy. All right, our first stop is we're going inside the Super Lab. Wow, everything is so perfectly designed. Look at this. There is not a single piece of dust anywhere. We've got this place in pristine condition. How much talk? Ciao. Uh, I like all the time. We have time to come and visit. Okay, we now. <laughs> Guys, look at this library. We even have trees in here. The design of this place is beautiful. Oh, we've got a Vin Mag. Vin Mag, too. There's a little bit of Vin everything. Everything is very like high tech and advanced throughout this school. I mean, you can feel that it's like brand new, state of the art technology. Definitely uh, slightly different than uh, back in my day. Like we were just inside of the, it's not that long ago, like a decade ago I was in college. Not that long, but close to it. But they, there's even a button to call for your teacher in that science lab we were just in. Like you just hit the help and your teacher, your professor will come right over. Now we're walking to the next area here. Got the fresh garden, the Vin garden I'm guessing they call it. Looks like they got sandwiches, coffees. That looks pretty good. All right, back to the bus. Hello, we are back. What a, what a ride. What a tour. What a tour. Hello. Xin Chao. Xin Chao. Oh. All right. It is lunchtime at one of the Vince stops here. How are we doing? Naraj, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, man. He's about to eat the camera. It looks like he's pretty hungry. You know what that means? Lunchtime. Yeah. All right. We're entering into the grand entrance and the VinFaz group or the Vin group strikes again a very extravagant setup to this whole place like look at this banquet hall we've got chandeliers on the ceilings and some tables loaded oh this is us yeah perfect thank you very much all right so we've got the uh, bread we've got some fresh meats I, I love like multi-color breads. I'm always very curious. Like, it, what is this, you would think, at, yeah, exactly. At first glance, you're like, is this gonna be like a a burned piece of bread? But it's probably like a super flavorful uh, piece of bread here. And then we're gonna toss some meats up on there. So, I hate to be the one to ruin the salami flour, but uh, you know, someone's got to do it. So, here we go. Grab a couple of those slices. And my favorite table centerpiece in the world. You just move that right around. And we'll bam. Now we can share with the friends. Thanks, friend. Yep. Thanks, Enjoy. Little escargot. Yeah, you gotta try it. I need yeah. To know what you too, you too. Right. Video reactions. All right, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Jordan, Everyone get one. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, exactly. Everybody. If it's for the video, escargot. Oh, these are snails. Oh, snails. Snails. I had my first escargot in Paris like uh, four days ago. Ooh, so, so number two, yeah. You're gonna have to compare. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, you have a little escargot right? fork? 
Uh, yeah, we, need this yeah, we do need the like it. the spoon, yeah. No, you can just bite it. You. You know, I'll move it around. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. It doesn't taste like yeah. snail at all. It's amazing. What does it, it taste like, like chicken? chicken? It tastes like chicken. Really yeah. Good. It's like a snake. It tastes yeah, like chicken. Yeah. Frog. It tastes yeah, like yeah. chicken. Snail, tastes like chicken. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why don't we just eat some chicken? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, cheers, bro. All right, so what are we doing? Pulling out one of these or pulling Grab out? Both. Grab both. Grab All right, both. and then we just... Mm. Yeah, you got it right out. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Mm. You popped it. Oh, um, popper. Oh, yeah. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. You got that right. Very tasty, but honestly much different than the one I had in Paris. The one I had in Paris was soaked. Garlic with butter. garlic butter, pesto. Uh -huh. It's good. But this one you can actually like taste the snail. But I like it a lot. It, it does taste, taste more like chicken than the one I had in Paris though. So next on the menu we have some beef here with purple rice. That is looking good. How is it, Kayla? It's so good. Yeah. Oh. It really makes me want a milk tea with purple rice though. Oh, true, true. I need that milk tea to go with it. But I've never had it with meat, which is interesting. Yeah, yeah. I know, it looks delicious. A Vietnamese special. A little bit, just uh, right now. Wow. Alright. And look at that thing. Before anyone grabs it, look at how beautiful that thing looks. Yum, yum, yum. That's how we know we're at the creator table. Oh, there we go. We've got the beef and the lobster on the plate. And it's fried, you know? Anything fried is going to be delicious. Oh, let's see if I can cut it with my fork. Mm. Nope. Uh, that's when we go, uh, so we're going to get this. <laughs> yeah, this, this is what I do whenever I'm at like a buffet in a hotel. And it's funny because people don't notice, so they think I'm talking to myself as I'm walking to the buffet. <laughs> and they're like, they'll look at me like weird. I'll be like, got a camera. And they'll be like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not that crazy. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it, but. Oh, yeah, look at that. So we have a nice. Oh, it's got a mind of its own. It jumped out at me. As you can see there, nice and moist on the inside, fried on the outside. Oh, yeah. It's definitely been probably like a year since last time I had lobster. So. This is a special meal for me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Juicy on the inside with that crunch. It's so, so good. Mm. Now let's try the beef right after that. As you can see here. Yeah, I made a little mess with the uh, crumbs there, so ignore that. But there is the juicy beef. Looks like it's... Uh, Medium done, maybe rare. Yeah, let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Honestly, you don't even need a knife for that. It just breaks apart, falls apart in your mouth. And you take a bite into that, you can taste the sweet flavors of it. Such a good meal. Much, and this is a lemon pie. Lemon. Well, thank you so much. There we go. Oh, look at this thing. Wow. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this. Sorry, but we have to leave now. Okay. okay. okay Thank you. you. Alright, so I guess we're only getting one one, one little bite. Ooh, oh, look pressure. at that thing. <laughs> oh, it's like an egg inside. Is that an egg? Or is that just like fruit? It's lemon. Oh. Lemon? Oh. It's so sweet. It's good. Mmm. Oh, that is wow. nice. Mm-hmm. Very sweet. Very... Was this like, little chocolate uh, at the bottom? How do I even describe this, guys? Like a fancy dessert. Like the presentation from the taste to cooking something that's that fragile yet jello y. That's a nice dessert. All right. All right. We've got an expedited departure. We're heading to the airport now. We're going to be. Hey, there's Peter. How we doing? How you doing? Yeah, never been better. Never been better. Oh, yeah. Got a full belly here. What'd you like most on there? The uh, lobster? I gained like one more. Yeah, a few, a few more kilos from this trip, guys. They've been feeding us so well <laughs> here at the BinFast events. And oh my gosh, I am so full now. And it's time to take, I think it's a two hour flight over to Natrang. 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 Okay, there we go. And it's a beautiful island. We'll be doing a little more exploration and showing you guys. So excited for this. We've got a plane chartered because we have a group of, I think, like 200 of us. So it's going to be a nice ride over. What's your guess? I think maybe 150. 150. All right, all right. Peter knows better than I do. See you. MK1234. I think we're going to our same ones from yesterday. So we're on MKT4. And that's going to take us over to the airport. He owns that bus. I own it. That just 
came back from the US with my own bus. That's what we call très bien. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, back on the luxury buses. There we go. All right, we have arrived to the airport here. The nice part is when you charter a flight, you just kind of go straight there. Yeah, Kevin's got a lot on his plate right now, so <laughs> I'm lucky he was able to come with me. I wish it would have been successful, but hey, we're going to make the most out of today. We're uh, in the airport now, even quite early probably. I don't think they've even boarded the plane yet, have yeah, they? Yeah, two. Or they have? Plenty mommy. Oh, all right. So we got plenty of time. Pretty quick process, I will say, when you're on the charter plane. We had a special security line, the crew and cabin. Uh, so that gave us basically like a three minute process to go through security. And now we're heading over to the gate and then it'll be uh, forward march towards. All right, guys, I'm one of the last ones on the plane, but uh, hey, better late than never, right? It looks like we're gonna be taking, uh, I would guess the Vietnam Airlines over there has gotta be ours. So we're loading up on one of these next buses here and then we're gonna be getting on the flight. This one? All right. We got up then over there. Oh, how we doing, bro? Good. All right, we just took the uh, bus over. Are you ready for this flight, Upton? Yeah, I'm ready. It's like the entire plane is just everyone from the, the crew. It's, it's it. going to be kind of fun. Yeah, it is going to be fun. We've got this massive Dreamliner Boeing 787 that's all VIN Group. So it's going to be a pretty sweet ride here. Your first time on Vietnam Airlines? Uh, actually, I've been before, but oh, this will be good. He's a veteran. My first time with World Nomad. Uh, there we go. Fair point. My first time with Upton. <laughs> on a Vietnamese airline. So let's go ahead and hop on this plane, guys. We'll show you what it's going to be like dry, flying two hours south. 22C. All right. Oh, you got my seat? No, I got the uh, aisle. Oh, yeah. Flight's starting off pretty well, bro. Got the welcome Cheers. drinks. Cheers. K-Sock. I never had the glass in no? plane before. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know, only on Vietnam Airlines with VinFest. Uh, refreshing after all that running you guys saw from one terminal to the next. All right, wow, look at the fleet of buses. How many do we have here? Three, six, nine, ten buses. Vin first, MKT2, that's gotta be us. Uh, we meet again. Slightly changed it up. So guys, we got about a 30 minute drive and then we're going to arrive to the pier and then I believe it's a 15 minute boat ride to take us to the private resort island. So it is going to be, I believe the best hotel we've seen yet because it has so many different amenities there and it's a beautiful landscape out here in the southern parts of Vietnam. Yeah, I can tell just cruising through the city, we've got a very much tourism focused type of city here. I mean, look at these hotels just driving in now. We've passed a lot of the name brands hotels, both international and local. Water parks at these ones. I know one of the amenities at our hotel we're gonna be staying at is there's actually a full amusement park there. So you best believe if it's open, we're gonna be taking you guys on all the roller coasters in the next couple days while we're here. Insane. Almost slept through it. All of a sudden, I woke up and I'm like, "Whoa!" All right, and this is our last step of the day. We just got to take a boat about 15 minutes over to the island. Oh, sweet! We're getting hats. Hello. Yeah, welcome to Winpro. Thank you. Oh yeah. Sweet. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Oh yeah, I'd say that's uh, that's pretty good. Thank you so much. All right, we're ready for vacation. Let's go. Oh, we got some sort of uh, tea or juice. Interesting flavor. It's good, but one I've never had before. For sure. Oh, that is nice. Oh, it's all over the place. 
And just like the other Vin Pearl, we are going to be taking the boats. Oh, this hat's going all over. Yeah, just like the other Vin Pearl, we are taking this uh, boat all the way over to the private island. Zip. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got a big boat. All right, not much to see on the back of the boat, but pretty large here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, after probably like a five, 10 minute boat ride, not even 10 minutes, we have made it to the hotel. Hello, how are you? Hello. Thank you. All right. And hello. All right. Can hop in any of them? Yeah. Can get in any? Perfect. Thank you. All right, we'll take the back seat here. Oh, you guys hopping in the back? Best seat in town. Smart move. We're looking like locals these days. I like it. I like it. Man, I got two. I got Amazon as well, but you know. Uh, doubling down. Actually, that's good because it'll probably stay on. When I was like trying to vlog walking on the boat, this thing was like choking me on the side. I'm like, ah, dying back here. All right, guys. So we are on one of the electric buses that or I guess you could call them like massive golf cart buses. I don't know the official name for them, but they're definitely electric because you can't hear much. And it's going to cruise us right into the Vin Pearl campus. One of, for sure, like this might be the most extravagant hotel I've ever stayed at in terms of like the amount of stuff they have, like from the resorts to all of this new construction coming on. We'll be showing you the theme park here pretty soon. Like I'm sure there's multiple restaurants and so much. Oh, we're getting a little sneak peek of the roller coaster up there. There we go. So you already know it's gonna be some fun. As we say, welcome to Vin Pearl. And there it is, Vin Wonders. Wow, hello. Hello, thank you, Sincho. Oh, lost my hat. Thank you. Hello. We have arrived with a little music here to start out. Oh, we're doing a little stone. Wow, some great Vietnamese music right when we walk in here. So guys, we just made it up here to the Vin Pearl Resort, but I'm actually going to save the entire tour of this place for another video. The reason being is because it is a massive campus. You got a little teaser coming over here on the boat and coming for kind of like the travel day, but uh, I'm gonna make sure I save all of this exciting room tours and showing you the hotel, the amenities, everything for the next video. So really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, smash that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.